Hi there, in the previous video we created an empty login dialog. In this one we will add input controls on the login dialog. We start by opening the designer and creating a new layout. We give the layout a name, this is the name we will use for banana load layout. The input controls for the login dialog should be validated. We will use a v-form for that as a parent element. As this is a single page application, all controls should have unique names. We will add rows and columns inside the form. This is the first row, we will give it a name. We then add a column inside that row. We will make this span 12 spaces across all devices. You can also specify offsets and sizes for each of the devices. For now we will use the calls property which applies to all devices. We name the column and then after that we add a text field control inside it. This will hold the email address. We give it such a name and also change its label. The V model holds the bidirectional data binding for the value of the text box. We will link this control to a user email address. Notice that, to do that we use dot notation. We will have an object named user and this should have an email address. We set other properties like required and outlined. You can play around with the properties and see what they will do for your design. All the properties are based on the Vue T5 text field API. After we finish with the email address, we create the password field. We will just copy the existing controls to do so. After we duplicate these, we update their names for uniqueness. We also change the label of the password including its V model. And because we expect a password, we change the input type to be password. We also want the password toggle eyes to show on the password, so we will turn on show eyes. We want our login details to be inside the empty login dialog. Then we will add the content there with banana load layout. Our banana load layout should execute on content inside the dialog, so we will refer to the card text of the login dialog. After the content is loaded, we will need to establish state bindings for the input controls.
We earlier said the login dialog is a V dialog with a card title, card text and card actions. So we will load the login details inside the card text of the dialog. The next step for us is generating the members for the login details, bind them and after that create our rule validation. We open the layout and generate members. The IDE has now been updated with the definitions for the new controls, we then need to establish data bindings for them. First, select the controls to build code for and copy to the clipboard. Then open the Kitchen Sync web app to access the Bind View Element Builder. Paste the B4X source code just below the component name. The component should match the component you are working with. Our component name is login, we update this. We click the compile binding brackers and then copy the code to paste to our ID. We then add code for the password text field, when the I is clicked it should toggle and then show and hide the password. The eye icons are called append icons. So when click append happens, it toggles the password text box. The final step is adding rules. We want the email address and password not to be blank. So for each control, let's add the rules callbacks. These return the error message or true. For each rule we add, we need to create a callback subroutine. We have written helper code on the add rule method. We copy and use that. We then update this to suit our needs. The expected callback is email check and password check, let's create these. It's time to run our application. Now, because of lazy validation for our form, if we don't specify anything for the input control, the validation rules kick in. Thank you.